your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Thank you for being with us today for this, your daily 180 Bible study. We're just beginning a series on the book of James, and we're going to back up to verse 2, and we're going to read verse 2, 3, and 4, and I think it may impress you the benefits of trials. Notice what he says beginning at verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Do you realize what he's saying? He's saying there's, there's just a certain level of maturity that will not occur in your life until you've gone through some trials. There's some benefit to going through difficult times in your life. It is part of that maturing process. A number of years ago, my wife and I were studying through the book of James, and she said, you know, when a person doesn't want trials in their life, what they're really saying is they don't want to grow. And I got to thinking about it, and I thought, that's exactly right. Because you see, if you want to grow up to be like Jesus, if you want to mature in Christ, it requires trials. And notice what James says here, that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Isn't that amazing? Lacking nothing. You can, you can be perfect. Not perfect in and of your own performance, but perfect for service to God. Let me illustrate the point this way. If you would think about maybe you have a task around your house, you need to do something, you're trying to remove a hinge from a door perhaps, and uh, trying to remove this uh, hinge from your door, you need a particular screwdriver, and, and you have a lot of screwdrivers, but none of them work. You go over to see a neighbor and you ask him to loan you a screwdriver, and I mean he has an elaborate array of screwdrivers and they're all laid out neatly, and but none of them work. You go over to another neighbor and you, you go talk to that neighbor and he's got a five-gallon bucket full of old, rusty, nasty screwdrivers and he finds one that looks like the dog has chewed on it for days and it, it may even have some dried dog slobber on it and you think, that is the nastiest thing I've ever seen, but it looks like it's the right size. And you take that nasty, beat-up screwdriver that's been chewed on and you put it up there at the door hinge and you know what? It fits. And you say, ah, this is perfect. You know, sometimes it may be that in life you've been chewed on, you've been beat up, and you've gone through a lot of trials, but you've been equipped for a job that no one else can do. And God says you're perfect if you'll bear up under these trials. Thank you for being with us today, and join us again for your daily 180.